Hello my dear health seekers, Inga from Health Origins here and welcome to week 21 uh, meal prep for weight loss show. So today I'm going to be cooking two recipes. So one of them is aloo gobi dish and um, I did a poll on, on my um, YouTube channel community um, section and you all voted for aloo gobi dish which is a forks over knives recipe so it's curry um, potato and cauliflower curry and the second dish is my experimental quinoa and um, vegetable bake which actually worked really well so let's get into it so we're gonna start with the aloo gobi um, dish because I've done a poll on my um, channel in the community tab and you guys decided that you wanted to see this recipe so here it is um, I've been preheating my that's perfect so this is really hot now it's ready to be frying my onions so I've got one um, medium of onion um, chopped um, chopped kind of rather small um, and we're gonna fry the onion for about six seven minutes and if it starts sticking I'm gonna be putting a couple of tablespoons of water just to deglaze the pan but um, you know and this is a stainless steel pan my zepter pots I'll, I'll, um, I'll link for you below where you can get your own zepter pot I love these zepter pots because they are you know such solid build such great um, kind of sturdy structure and the great thing is that you can also cook and save energy at the same time because they're so well insulated the pots that you know you need to get them to a certain um, degree and then you can switch off your gas um, or electric whatever you're cooking with and then the pot will finish cooking your meal so so this is the onions and I I will add some water and I'll keep on frying them for um, altogether about six seven minutes so it's been about um, six minutes or so um, frying the onions I'm going to be adding other ingredients so I've got about a tablespoon of um, ginger so this is just grated fresh ginger add that in I've got two cloves of garlic minced so adding that one and also I have um, about half of chili pepper fresh chili pepper um, it did, the recipe said half of jalapeno um, I think this is just um, orange chili pepper I don't have a jalapeno but I'm, I'll be using that instead should be pro probably the same actually so and we need to cook this for about um, three minutes And you need to be careful not to let the um, garlic actually burn so I'm gonna just add a couple of tablespoons of water here to just make sure it doesn't stick and burn it's it, um, it you know there's so much um, lovely uh, kind of aroma in the room now with this ginger and the garlic yeah it's quite aromatic so um, I'll give it another couple of minutes so about one minute left so while we wait for this um, let me tell you about an exciting free 22 day lose your lockdown weight program that I'm doing on my health origins Facebook page so if you go over to my Facebook page health origins Facebook page you will see my video um, I pinned it at the top of the page where um, from coming Tuesday which which is the 9th of June I'm doing a mini um, 
weight loss program which is gonna last 22 days every Tuesday at 7 30 uh, p.m. GMT time uh, we'll be gathering and going through different weight loss tips techniques and um, you know, I'll be giving you the habits, homework to do, and also I'll be sharing my uh, meal prep, not meal prep, meal plans. Um, so yeah, so there's gonna be meal plans, three weeks meal plans included as well. Um, so yeah, so come over to my Health Origins page on Facebook and follow me on that. So now, since we've been cooking for about three minutes I'm adding my tomato so this is two medium chopped tomatoes um, and now we're ready to put the rest of the ingredients minus the peas so this is some frozen a, a cup of frozen peas which we're gonna leave towards the end but at the minute um, I'm adding um, one medium to small um, head of cauliflower that I've divided into um, small florets then I've got about half a kilo of potatoes cubed um, and then we're gonna add all our spices as well so this is one teaspoon of cumin um, so I've just made it freshly myself um, I've toasted it and I've ground it down this is one teaspoon of toasted and ground coriander seeds as well uh, we've got two bay leaves which I'm gonna put in there um, then we've got um, a half a teaspoon of turmeric powder we need for that golden lovely color so I'll sprinkle that on um, and we've got one teaspoon it says the recipe says one teaspoon of chili flakes um, dried chili flakes um, we can't do too much spice and I already put half of the you know fresh chili so I'm just gonna do half of a teaspoon actually so I'll do half a teaspoon that that will probably be definitely more than enough for us so half a teaspoon there and then a quarter of a teaspoon of cloves so this is ground cloves and a quarter of a teaspoon here and that is all the ingredients so I'm gonna just mix that up and I'm gonna need to put a lid on and let it kind of cook and sweat itself um, for about 10-15 minutes until the potatoes and cauliflower have actually you know softened and cooked through it doesn't seem a lot of liquid however um, the recipe does not indicate any other liquid so I'm guessing that um, I'm gonna probably reduce it slightly just so that it doesn't you know really burn or anything and I'm gonna put the lid on so it's gonna steam and sweat in its own um, juices so the dish alu gobi has cooked for about 15 minutes covered and then I've added that cup of green peas for the last five minutes and let's have a taste test now so I'll put a little bit of of everything in here and have a little taste test and um, apparently you should garnish it with either, either cilantro which is coriander or some mint I haven't got either of those but I've got some parsley so I'm using parsley instead so that is looking good and it's, it's smelling quite good um, as well so I mean give it a go actually I wonder if I need some salt I'll try without and then hmm yeah definitely has that slight curry flavor put a little bit of salt because there's no salt um, obviously in the recipe and that way just putting on your plate you're using so much less salt mmm it's actually really good with with some salt on it 
yum and you could have that on its own um, you could have it on rice but because it's obviously got cauliflower and potato itself already it probably would be a little bit too much having this already with rice so I think on its own you could just have it on its own um, with a side salad I would just have it with a side salad personally mmm so this is good so on to the next dish so now on to the second dish which is going to be an experiment um, so i like the um, dishes and idea of just uh, throwing everything into a baking dish baking it for 45 minutes to an hour and voila there's your dish um, so yeah so that's what i'm going to be doing and the grain i'm going to be using this time is quinoa so um, i'm going to be making um, cabbage um, broccoli and courgette quinoa bake if you like um, and for spices I've still got some peri peri sauce left over um, but you could use maybe some barbecue sauce or sweet chili sauce as well you could use to flavor it um, give it an extra flavor and I've got some stock here as well vegetable stock um, so what I'm going to do, I'm literally going to just add everything to the uh, my roasting tin. So this is a non-stick anodized aluminium um, tin that has a lid. Um, you know, so if, if your roasting tin doesn't have a lid, then make sure you cover it with foil. Um, but yeah, so I've got um, a quarter of a cabbage, white cabbage that I chopped up. So I've added that there. Um, I've got some onion so that's one onion chopped up that I'm putting on as well um, then I've got my courgette so this is one courgette um, chopped up into pieces um, I've got garlic so I've got three cloves of garlic that I've um, crushed so I'm gonna have to try and mix that in a little bit and then I've got um, half of a large head of broccoli um, or a small one small head um, cut up into florets um, and you could use any kind of vegetables you have um, left over on hand you could use cauliflower you could use some sweet potato as well um, or even you know potato I think it would probably you know work I think because we've got quinoa maybe potato might be starch on starch um, so any any kind of carrots for example um, uh, butternut squash would work I think but we are going for like a white and green theme it looks like um, so yeah so this is two cups of quinoa so I'm gonna just add that in um, we're gonna give it a stir we're gonna give it a mix And I've got my oven preheating on 190 degrees Celsius and my uh, oven is fan so it's slightly higher so it's probably about 200 degrees if it's if yours is non fan oven so I'm just gonna mix that a little bit um, and we're gonna pour one liter in fact actually before I pour this what I want to do um, I've got about maybe a quarter of a cup of my peri peri sauce uh, left here so you know you could use a different kind of flavoring sauce like I said barbecue or even hoisin might you know work well um, sweet chili sauce anything like that and I've got one liter of just vegetable stock so I'm just gonna mix my peri peri sauce um, with with the stock so just to wash out the bottle a little bit um, so I'm literally just experimenting here we'll see what it turns out like um, but I like experimenting um, and especially I want to you know kind of develop more um, these you know throw everything together and bake dishes because this is so so easy um you know and and it, it doesn't take any time at all to put it together so just try and distribute the stock and the sauce 
more evenly, mix it up a little bit. And I think it's good to go. So I'm going to put a lid on this um, and put it in the oven for about 45 minutes and then I'll check to see if, if the vegetables, you know, especially like the cabbage, um, have cooked through and if quinoa. Quinoa needs about 30 minutes simmering, so 45 minutes should be more than enough. Um, so yeah, so I'll catch up with you then. So the dish has cooked for 45 minutes, covered, and it looks done and I've got a taste tester for you because Yay. it's too late to, for me to eat so Mark sacrificed again. As I always will. <laughs> <laughs> so let's put you a little bit. So this is a quinoa peri peri bake. Um, just my experiments mm. um, as normal. <laughs> <laughs> I, so, I can hardly wait. <laughs> so it's hot. Um, so yeah, it smells, by the way, the peri-peri sauce is the one with the lemon and herbs. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> smells really nice and it looks, you know, cooked through, all the bits look cooked looks through. cooked through. <laughs> yeah. I really hope it is. Well, the quinoa is definitely looking done. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. Yeah, mm. nice. It is nice. It could do a little bit more, a little bit more flavour. Yeah. Um, it's got quite a bit of texture, which is good. Um, Sorry, I've nearly forked you there. Um, I think you could probably add a little bit of sweet chilli sauce or something on mm. it. That yeah. would probably be good. It's very nice though. It's, um, yeah. Can you uh, taste the peri-peri? A little bit. So as I say, I think mm. a little bit more could be added, probably for the, the size of the dish. I don't know how much you used, but... Um, yeah, it was about a quarter of a cup. Not a lot. No, yeah, I, I think it would need a little bit more. But mm. Um, mm, it's very good. Like I say, I really like the fact that it keeps its texture as well, because a lot of um, kind of plant-based food, obviously you cook it too long, it can go quite soft. Mm -hmm. um, but the vegetables still have a little bit of um, a little bit but of crunch. The beauty of this dish for me is mm. that you check everything together, put some stock in, put it in the oven for forty five minutes, forget about it, and you've got a, a meal that's mm. that's done. Yeah. And it's a volume of food which I love, and you can put all kinds of vegetables that you need to finish up. Mm. Yeah, that yeah. would work very well. Just you know, because you're just kind of flavoring vegetables, so you could use whatever you want. So He's gonna. <laughs> I'll, He's I'll gonna fork me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so this is dish number two. So let me put it all together for you. So here's the lot for this week. So bringing all together. So this is my experimental quinoa peri peri bake, uh, which worked well. Um, I've also made some rice. This is my aloo gobi dish, which um, we already had kind of quite a bit of it. So there's a little bit remaining. Um, I also made some simple spiced lentils and I'll link to um, uh, to the recipe in the description below for you if you're interested in trying and also I made a um, West African peanut um, stew so peanut sauce stew that I found on the lovely Jill's um, channel called um, Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show so I'll link to the recipe below if you're interested in trying so this is the lot <laughs> let me know which of the two dishes that you'll be trying um, and let me know if there's any other dishes you would like me to um, cook on this channel and you probably noticed that I've moved my um, meal prep videos to Sundays because I no longer prepare one week ahead um, and it's a little bit too hectic to cook and edit and upload the video on Saturdays for you so I'm going to be doing Wednesdays and Sundays. So Wednesdays is the same day, but my meal prep for weight loss show, it's going to be moved now to Sundays. Um, I hope that works for you guys. Um, you can always cook a week behind. Um, so, you know, if you wanted to uh, prepare uh, and do the shopping list 
So you can do that, say on Friday, you know, the week after, um, and and cook ready for Saturday or Sunday. But yeah, so that works better with my schedule. So I'm moving it to Sunday for now, and we'll see. You know, if 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 I see that it's better to move it back to Saturday, I might move it back to Saturday at some point. Um, yeah, so if you're new here, welcome to my show, welcome to my channel and subscribe for more videos just like this on Wednesdays and Sundays now. Um, and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and remember, food is fuel, so be mindful of what you put in the body. Until next time.